Hello folks and uh, welcome back to um, Malta For Real and uh, my own personal wine cellar. Uh, you may well have uh, worked out by now from looking at the previous recording that um, I do have a bit of a passion about Maltese wines. Now there's one aspect of Maltese wines um, that most people probably aren't even aware of is that there are a great many produced in very small numbers for the collector. Now just as a starting point I'm holding one here which is called Magnus. It's a lovely wine produced by Monte Cristo. Now this is the 2004, their very first year. It's actually got a lovely silver platinum label sealed with uh, wax and silver tastes nice too but um, some of these wines are ones that you probably wouldn't open they're just an investment now you may well think well that's a total waste of time why on earth would you buy a bottle of wine and not even want to open it well collecting wines like this is a bit like collecting some stamps you wouldn't go and stick a rare stamp on an envelope and post it to your grandma you'd put it in, a, in an album and look at it when you feel like it and that's what we do here some of these on the rack behind me now these are all different most of them are table wines and I would have no worries about opening them something like this that's totally different now let's have a look at another wine that's actually produced purely for the collector now on the table here we have a few different ones now this one is actually produced by Marsavin. Now if it comes to collected, collector's wines from Malta this has got to be the ultimate. Now as you can see it's got an absolutely fabulous label again it's silver pewter. Now Grand Mater is produced every year in very limited numbers and what it's actually doing is commemorating the life of each of the Grand Masters in turn. So each year the label actually shows the badge of one particular Grand Master. Now on the rack here most of them are here. There's only one missing and I'm going to make it my business to find that and get it in there as soon as I possibly can. But I know I'm going to have to pay some serious pound notes to get it. But at least I'll have the complete collection. Now the ultimate collector's item which would come from Malta would be this one which I've got here nice and safe in its own little box. In here again it's a Grand Maitre but right at the start they actually spelled the label incorrectly and they missed out the D in Grand and a couple of other spelling mistakes down here. Now this for the collector that is the ultimate achievement as regards Maltese wines. For those of you who are interested in such perversions as money, you would today, I've seen this advertised or at least asked for on Rare Wines websites and I've seen Americans and such like offering two and a half thousand American dollars for a bottle like this. Now, needless to say, just so I don't go and scare my wife, I didn't pay anywhere near that amount for it. But it's just like collecting stamps. You've got to have the whole set. If you're a collector, you just have to have them all. So anyway, folks, why don't you come out to Malta and have a look at the wines? I'll show them to you. You don't have to pay two and a half thousand. You can actually get a very nice one for £10. Anyway, See you there folks, come and enjoy the sun and have a glass with me.